Holy shit, good morning. My name is Brandon Zero, the Blue Baron himself, and this is gonna be a pretty long version of Absolute Zero. Come on, motherfucking down. All right, so I'm currently on my way to some Dana Point, California for a business trip uh, for Kaiser Permanente. Uh, where I work, so I can't be too ignorant on this freaking video because somebody might tag Kaiser in it and screw my whole life over. Uh, but I'm gonna do the best I can to keep this as interesting as I can. I'm gonna try to do it myself. We're gonna go sightseeing together, so um, all my lovely positives and all my lovely negative numbers surround me. So, uh, here at DIA, the Illuminati capital of the fucking world, man, I was on my way in here and I was like, dude, this is way too much space for this to just be in the airport. There's no freaking way. Now, I haven't found the creepy murals, but I did see that freaking horse, and I'm telling you, there's evil out here. I'll tell you what, man, people are fucking dreary in the morning, man, but I mean, look at that. That is a ton of fucking people who are just like, oh my god, let me get on this damn plane. Prepared, do you have to be to buy a freaking baggage at the actual airport, bro? Like, what did you carry the rest of your shit here? It's almost time for me to go through the freaking line for TSA and get my bing bong touch. So, uh, I'm gonna show you guys something. I don't know if you guys can see those big. Oh, I didn't get it. Did I get it? No. No, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. But the, yeah, there are these big freaking things. Maybe, uh, yeah, there. You guys see those? So there was an advertisement on that for Jack Ryan, an action movie, and everything was like on fire in the background. I'm like, I don't fucking want to see that for you on a plane. So I apparently completely forgetting about the events of September 11, 2001, freaking fucked around and brought a knife to the airport, so that's gone now. Just a reflex, it's just a reflex. Watching people board these trains to get to the gates, sorry man, it's funny because they start all moving in slowly like hyenas. The doors are closing. It's kind of like the rides of Disney. All right, so the the the, uh, the trains that take you where you need to go play this weird like guitar riff before they let you go anywhere. That sounds kind of like Rock Lobster. I was waiting for someone to come up. Who wants to walk with Elias? So yes, that does say Victoria's Secret, and yes, that does say Mac. Why? Do why? If I can get my converse shot. I tell you what, people who fly on planes a lot must be miserable people because there are so many fucking bars up here. Dude, this is this is some wild shit. This is some crazy, crazy wild shit. I mean, look at that line for caribou coffee. Y'all gonna be alright. It's gonna be fine. So I don't know what the plan is or why they have certain things listed like hey you can come here but they're not open oh yeah there's a yep victoria's secret it may be backwards when you read it but that is exactly what that is maybe i should get something a little bit more scandalous oh my god i could seriously die in here or no one would find my body this is ridiculous finally found my gate 845 but let me explain something to y'all. I know that TSA, we you know, we, we have to take our shoes off now. Y'all nasty. Y'all nasty up in here with your flip-flops on, standing barefoot on this friggin' place. Man, you don't know what is down here. And you could have caught it from somebody else's feet, too. Uh. And I ain't gonna lie, I think it's funny how one dude dressed supposed to shit with his shoes, and all of a sudden we're all taking our shoes off at the airport, but we can't do anything about gun legislation, huh? I'm really funny. She thinks I don't see her coming. Hey! <laughs> So apparently I'm not cool enough to be on the friggin' Premier boarding, so it's a bunch of rich white people. Okay. Moments go. About to get on the plane. Looking like Sean Morgan doing this motherfucker for a way if I die. You know, I'm die looking good and all of that. There's the portal time. So we're walking through first class and uh everyone in first class was only one color. Alright, and we have successfully boarded. I have reached my seat. It is in the very back by the window. So if the plane goes down, it will be the last one to die. If I'm lucky, it will get to go off Fight Club and I can find out more about single surfing friends. But so far, it looks like nobody's sitting next to me at all. Which I'm perfectly fine with, really, to be honest. So, let's hope this, uh... So if this goes well, I'm boarding group three of five. I'm thinking they're like four on now. Uh, yeah, should be alright. Holy shit, looks 
looks like a pine in a silent hill. So let's say my positive and negative numbers we have officially hit the ground as I clearly stated in my last video. So I'm listening to Spotify. The first thing that plays as soon as I get here is the evil has landed by Queens of the Stone Age. <laughs> yeah. I think he's dead, bro. What? Bro, I'm in the OC forever summer, which sounds fucking awful. California, I am in you. Wait. Dude, holy shit, I just realized it's standing in a fucking palm tree this whole time. I heard in California, if you kiss someone under a palm tree, one of you becomes a failed actress. Guys, turns out that California is a lot like anywhere else in the country. A bunch of overdressed people who think they're more attractive than they actually are. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What is this tomfoolery? What is this? There's a safe. What do I need a safe for? There's a friggin' iron. I got robes that I'm gonna wear just on GP. Like, all the towels that have ever existed at any point in time. Oh, look at that. I've got body wash and body lotion. I actually probably need that lotion though. Those are shot glasses. That's a friggin' bourbon glass. Oh, look, good to do. Look at the size of all this shit. This, this is the type of shower that freaking like, white-collar serial killers and spies use. There's a toilet. I swear if that's a bidet, I will end everything. Okay. What is this? There's nothing under there. There's ice in that thing. I have a phone. Complimentary Fiji water, which I'm scared to take. Drawers. 
a desk in case I need to think about my life a little bit, personal coffee maker, a couch to lounge on in case I'm just bored, an alarm clock. Dory is my guest room attendant. Look at this fucking bed. Look at these fucking lights. Oh, oh, we haven't even gotten to this shit over here. Let's just step outside, shall we? Let's just step outside. There's the, the, the blue menace and the dentist in, in the distance there. Like, that is terrifying, man. All I can think about is some gigantic fucking mega tsunami just rolling over that shit. Now, Godzilla showing up would actually be cool, but look at this. I don't deserve this just because I came up with a goofy idea. I'm not built like this, man. I'm from Memphis. Oh, my God. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with all this. I'm going to be sleeping here for two damn nights. So I guess it's look at that. I'm actually almost legit irritated by how nice this place looks. All right, guys, I do need to get settled. So this will be my last video for a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to make this the, you know, from the, uh, you know, departure to arrival and check in. I guess I'll release that as one video and then we'll go forward with any other ones from there. But my name is Brandon Zero. This has been Absolute Zero. Stay frosty, as frosty as you can in a place that's called the OC with Forever Summer. That's bullshit. I'll do my best to get more content out to you guys. Hopefully we can make this a bit of an adventure, okay? Stay frosty.